Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So JJ Reddick, he listed his top five NBA title threats. He said the first one is going to be the Nuggets, 76ers, Lakers, Celtics, and Suns. But once again, the disrespect continues. How were the Miami Heat not on that list? We defeated the one seed in the Milwaukee Bucks. We're up 3-1 against the New York Knicks. We're about to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. How on earth are we not on this list? And I understand that, you know, all those other teams listed had a better record than the Miami Heat. But how? How are we not on that list? At the end of the day, the disrespect needs to stop. And it's just weird. ESPN has so much hatred and jealousy in their heart towards the Miami Heat. They have a lot of disrespect towards the Miami Heat. They have a lot of hate in their heart towards the Miami Heat. It's like the ESPN is like almost banned from talking about the Miami Heat. They're banned from ever giving the Miami Heat any type of credit. You rarely get, you rarely hear them give Spo credit, Jimmy, Bam, none of those guys. And it's weird because J.J. Reddick is one of the guys on the um, show that actually know about the game of basketball. He played in the NBA. So I'm very surprised to think that we beat the one seeded Milwaukee Bucks. We're about to beat the New York Knicks. And we're not even on that list? How are we not on this list? And the biggest thing is why. I wonder why they don't want to talk about the Miami Heat. Because listen, at the end of the day, it's one thing if the Miami Heat were terrible. And we were terrible like in the regular season. But we're playing extremely well in the playoffs. We function well in the playoffs. This is a playoff team. Like when it comes to the playoff, Jimmy, he rises to the occasion. Spo, he rises to the occasion. And the role players are rolling right with them. So it's very disappointing to see how we're not getting any of the credit. And it's almost as if they want to lie their way out of even talking about the Miami Heat. You know, you have Jalen Rose saying that the weather is affecting the New York Knicks. You have Mike Greenberg. He's saying the same foolishness, how the Miami Heat weather is zapping the energy out of the New York Knicks. Then you have Chandler Parsons. He's saying that he's going to either choose the Boston Celtics or the 76ers, depending on who comes out of the series, to go to to the NBA Finals out of the East. It's just a bunch of disrespect. And once again, I don't care what anyone says. The Miami Heat need to be on that list, especially over the 76ers, okay? Especially over the Lakers. So at the end of the day, I just think there's a lot of disrespect going on. I don't know what the beef is with ESPN, but it needs to change. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.